Hi guys, for this part of our assignment, we are going to talk about what makes a good story for oral storytelling, that's storytelling aloud. All right, so here are our storytelling tips. All right, to find a good story, you'll wanna start with short stories that you can remember. So fairy tales or folk tales are great. Number two, you will spend a lot of time with this story practicing and figuring out the best way to tell it. So make sure that your story is one that you really like. If you don't like the story, it's gonna be hard to want to spend time with it to practice it. Number three, repetition makes for better oral stories. Repetition is best when it comes in threes. So when we're talking about repetition, we're talking about um, a line that repeats so like in the three little pigs when the big bad wolf says uh hey little piggies let me in or i'll huff and i'll puff and i'll blow your house in so when we're talking about repetition that is a line that comes up multiple times throughout the story right and then the three little pigs say not by the hair of our chinny chin chins so repetition in your story number one helps you to remember it and it gives your story a very clear structure that the listener can follow. Because when you're listening to a story, you can't go back and reread passages like you can when you're reading a novel. So, um, short stories that you can remember, a story that you really like, and something that you can put repetition in. Um, the reason that stories like The Three Little Pigs and Goldilocks and the Three Bears and other stories like that have stuck around all this time is because they have that very clear structure and they have that repetition for the listener, which makes it easy to remember and easy to listen to. Um, where to find stories? I have a couple links below. So you can tell a story that you already know, and I'm totally okay if, this, if different people tell the same story because it's always gonna look a little bit different, right? Um, so tell a story you already know, or you can start at these websites. There's a Grimm's Fairy Tale website, and there's AmericanFolklore.net. You can also find fairy tales and folk, fa folk tales, fairy tales and folk tales in books at the library. All right. So now I want you to go and find a story that you can tell, and I want you to pick out a story that we can work on over the next couple weeks in our online drama course.